Story RH, the podcast that makes a long story short. Welcome to all. History is made of stories. In this episode, we'll be talking about the things that lead companies to rethink their organizational structure. Public and private firms now face a much broader range of challenges than in the past. Hypercompetition, shifting global relations and the impact of new technologies can all create an unstable environment for businesses. As a result, firms need to quickly rise to those challenges by harnessing what some like to call their agility. But they also need to hone their competitive edge and efficiency, which comes under the umbrella of productivity. So, is there a need to combine productivity and agility? What's the story? Today's companies have to overcome two hurdles. They need to be efficient in the here and now, but they also need to adapt to a constantly changing environment. It's a new challenge for organizations that previously used to do things one step at a time. First you innovated through your R&D program. Then you brought your innovations to the market and reaped the rewards. So, you're saying companies know how to be either innovative or productive. They understand the organizational methods needed for one or the other. If they're looking for productivity and efficiency, they can draw on a tailorist model. And if the focus is on innovation, they're more likely to go for a flatter structure, a structure that can offer more cross-functionality with a team-based approach to projects instead of individualized job specialization. Exactly. The trouble is, in the context we touched on at the start of this episode, companies don't have the luxury of choosing to be one or the other. They need to be both at the same time. And it's that need to juggle both that causes problems. People are still looking for an organization or model that will let us do both at once. That's something we've seen in management trends over the past 50 years. They've basically been geared towards expanding on the Taylorist model, which clearly won't adapt on its own. Just look at the Toyota production system, or Toyotism, of the 60s, which led to the shift towards total quality management in the 90s, and which lives on today in the shape of lean management. Yes. And that was also the end goal of semi-autonomous teams in the 70s, which offered a more realistic, less radical alternative to the freedom form companies or holacracies of the 2010s. There are plenty of other examples, like learning organizations and knowledge management in the 90s. To recap, this is a story to be continued. Companies still face the same challenges they did in the past. They need to be efficient and agile. They need to be productive while also being able to innovate and adapt. On top of that, They face much more pressing challenges in the current climate, which some of them need to overcome just to survive, let alone thrive. Is that right? Exactly right. Way to make a long story short. Story RH, the podcast that makes a long story short.